Welcome back to Jersey Matters. If you're having a hard time getting a passport, you're not alone. Reports are there's a backlog of 1.5 to 2 million applications for a new passport or a renewal. But Jersey Matters' Phil Andrews tells us one New Jersey congressman is trying to fix that. Phil. Well, you know, Larry, as uh, the country starts to open up from COVID-19, so does international travel. And of course, to travel outside the United States, you must have a passport. And what's happening right now, people are realizing that if their passport's up to date and valid, it's going to take them a little longer than usual to get that passport certified. As a matter of fact, there is currently a backlog of one and a half to two million passport applications and renewals currently holding up international travel for Americans, including families in northern New Jersey. It's a problem that does not sit well with Congressman Josh Gottheimer. To put this just in perspective for you, the turnaround for passports in normal times is eight to ten weeks, or when expedited, four to six weeks. Right now, though, for hundreds of local residents and families and millions of Americans across the nation, there's a massive delay of up to 18 weeks or more. That's more than four months to apply for or renew a passport. Again, it's normally eight to ten weeks or, when expedited, four to six weeks, and now it can take up to four months or more, or 12 weeks, nearly three months. The congressman addressed the problem this week outside this Paramus post office a passport acceptance facility where families would normally be able to easily apply for their new passports. Like New Milford resident Cheryl Levy, who had applied for a passport three months prior to a July anniversary trip abroad. My passport arrived 24 hours literally before my trip. Thank you to Mike and for all your hard work and to Congressman Gottenheimer. Although this may seem trivial to some, the stress of waiting of the unknown was overwhelming and during the time we should have been celebrating our anniversary. Now Cheryl was lucky, but Upper Saddle River residents Dr. Sanjeev Patel and Dr. Christine Girula, who had applied to replace their daughter's passport two months prior to a family trip abroad, were not. That's even after traveling all the way to a regional passport facility in Connecticut. Um, unfortunately, the timeline was too narrow to try to turn around a whole application from the beginning in such a short window. So, you know, fortunately for us, it was just a vacation and not something more pressing or more dire. Now, while making a plea to encourage the State Department to expand passport services, Gottheimer's office is currently assisting New Jerseyans with more than 324 passport cases. This isn't just disrupting travel plans but hurting families in their pocketbooks when international plans have to be suddenly canceled with steep fees and penalties. And of course, it's damaging the travel industry and our economic recovery that's had a rough enough year and a half. Now, I recently booked a flight outside of the United States, and the first thing I did was check my passport to make sure it was validated. Fortunately, it's good until 2025. But remember, before you book, take a look. Make sure your passport is good and ready to go. At Newark International Airport for Jersey Matters, I'm Phil Andrews. All right, thank you, Phil. Next on Jersey Matters. Red Cross officials are on the lookout for donors to help reduce a major blood shortage brought on by the pandemic and summer vacations. I'm Sherry Carabin, and coming up on Jersey Matters, I'll have that story.